Now, when it comes to fiddleheads, you only want to take the head, okay? So you go pop, pop, and pop, okay? And that's so that the rest of the plant can still grow because we don't want to take away from the plant, right? Uh-oh, her name is Mud. Molly Mud. Oh no. <laughs> Molly. <laughs> oh, this is Shire. The Shire family. One of our dews. That's a Molly Dew. We call her Mud. Now, again, just the tips of these fiddleheads. These guys are getting a little bit old. Or a little bit late for some of these, but there's still a lot of nice small ones. But it is just an abundance of fiddleheads around here. Look at them all. Lovely stuff. But we're going for all the tiny ones today. Not the big ones. And make sure you don't step on these plants. You want to step around them. Because, you know, we're not rude. Good ones right there. Pop the top. Pop the top. You see? Perfect. We already got it fair amount of fiddleheads in here but we're trying to get a lot because we want to pickle them and freeze them now you'll find fiddleheads in very damp areas that have lots of water swampy areas because they are a fern actually so goodness gracious look at them all. these are going to be some beautiful ferns that is for sure the mosquitoes out here though, my goodness. You wanna make sure you wear bug spray because I wasn't smart today and grab any. And I am now officially being eaten alive, but that's okay. Now see when they start to grow, see how beautiful that is? They become this nice and they'll get nice and big and tall and they'll have beautiful big leaves, which is really cool. There's mud. Oh, here's some good ones here. Pop the top. Oh, we've already been there. We are on video. We're gonna be famous. They call her mud. <laughs> I don't care, I'll have a bath and check for everything after we get back. because ticks are very abundant this year. You wanna be careful with those. Watch your dues. Watch your dues. Here we are, some more. Getting a nice basket, or basket, bucket going here. I don't have my wicker basket today. Fiddleheads, fiddleheads. Everybody loves fiddleheads. Okay. Every time you forage, you make sure you don't leave any trace of yourself. And you always make sure you leave the plant so that it's able to rejuvenate itself and sustain its life. We are not here to take away from this ecosystem. We want to keep it plentiful. <laughs> I've been seeing some things and videos where people have taken foraging and gathering and hunting to a very disgusting and disrespectful level. Taking endangered species and taking from other people's land. <sighs> That's not how you do that. We do not advocate that. This is a nature park with trails and walking. We are not on anyone's private property. We are not stealing anything and we are not in any way hurting the ecosystem to which we are foraging from. So, if you're in Ontario, and you're not sure how and where to do foraging. 
look into those certain factors that you make sure it is a park in which is public a park that doesn't have rules against foraging because some parks do but if they do a lot of the times they have a sign especially in Ontario yeah, Whitney over there she's getting an abundant Sioux we are working hard here so I'm gonna take a break so that I can use both hands and uh, hit at this and when we're uh, all gathered up we'll uh, look at how much is in there we'll uh, make another video and show you and uh, we'll even show you how to pickle these beautiful things so stay with us guys